is Lisa from I Dream in Soap. Welcome to my channel, so lovely to have you here. Now, for today's soap, I'm actually going to do a robot in a soap. Well, sort of a robot android R2D2 type soap, but clearly, obviously, I can't actually call it R2D2 or make it look exactly like him because there would be all sorts of copyright issues and palaver like that. So, that was my plan. Now, when I first designed this soap, and as I quite often do, I first started off by sort of like just drawing my idea of how I was going to do it on a piece of paper. And <laughs> I took my little sketch and I showed it to Paul and I said, What do you think this is? And that's something I often do. I kind of think if I can show an idea, a picture to someone, and they recognise what it is, then hopefully when I turn it into a soap, it will be quite recognisable. So I held up my little picture of my Android, and Paul said, it's a bus. It wasn't a bus, but I did say to him, no, it's actually a robot, like R2-D2. So a few little tweaks, and then I said to him, well, you draw me a bus. So he drew me a great bus. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to do R2-D2 or my robot soap now and then I'm going to do the bus as well and they'll both have sort of fairly similar methods to do them. Now I haven't made either of these soaps yet I'm just recording my intro just before I start but I'm all set up and ready to go so come on let's go and make some soap. The first thing I'm going to do is make some embeds. Now, I don't often show you all the extruding and everything on my videos because I know I do quite a lot of it and you've probably seen it time and time again. But I don't always do it and so I think every now and again I just go over the technique. If you've seen me do it and you're all confident then why not just skip forward um, a minute or so and just get on to the rest of the soap. So if you haven't done much extruding, now I've got the large extruder here that I sell in the shop. Um, I've made this specifically for soap making. It's got a nice wide open end. And what you want to do, no matter what extruder you're using, whether you're using a small one or these larger ones, first of all, you've got to get your soap dough and you've got to give it to a nice consistency. So it's quite likely where you've got your soap dough and had it wrapped up that it will go quite hard but you should still be able to, as you can see with here, you should still be able to mush it around. It shouldn't go hard like a bar of soap. If it does do that, it means you haven't kept it airtight enough. Okay, so I'm just massaging this soap dough a bit like you would do, you know, with any sort of clay or if you've used plasticine or anything, just to get it so that it's nice and workable. And what I'm doing here is I'm feeling for any harder lumps so it's nice, uniform, consistent texture all the way through and that will make it extrude better. And then once you're happy we can combine it all together in one bigger blob. And what you're looking for at this stage is again something that's still nice and firm. You don't want really soft soap dough, that will not extrude very well at all nice and firm and we want to try and get it into one nice solid blob with a few cracks and holes as possible. The better condition your soap dough is when it goes into your extruder, the better your extruded shapes will come out. Okay. So I can now put my soap dough into my extruder, put my selected disc on it. Okay, and then it's just a case of squeezing the handle and extruding out the shapes. Okay, so you can see I've got my, I've just done two circles in this disc just because there was room and I need two different size circles. Now with something simple like this, just a basic little tube of soap, I'm not gonna to worry too much about laying it out as it comes out. If you've got a more complicated shape, something that's quite detailed, you want to make sure as it comes out of your extruder, you keep it as straight as possible and that will make sure that the shape doesn't distort or crack or anything. 
Okay, so I'm just going to carry on doing this and then cut them to size for my mould. I've got a few different shapes to do, so I'm, I'm sure you don't want to see me extruding a million things, so I'll just get those done and then I'll come back and show you what I've made. So I finished doing all of my extruding. Now, I think I said it earlier, but with this soap, I, I really didn't necessarily need to extrude things. And I'm gonna make another soap very soon um, along a similar theme where I'm not going to extrude anything. I'm just going to do it by rolling, cutting out shapes in the soap dough. So as you can see here, I've extruded some sort of oblongs in blue and a square in blue and some in yellow and these are all just going to be like the, all the little lights and the knobs and everything that we have on our little robot again some in grey as well so that just, just really things features on the casing of the robot these bigger things that I've done here are just going to be our robot's arms so I suppose in theory you might say oh those would be good to extrude but again you could simply cut out a roll out some soap dough and just push the top and shape it and then you could just go through and shape that with your hand there's no need to get snazzy extruders or anything this would be something you could definitely do by just rolling and cutting right let's move on and start that first layer shall we okay so let's start off with a very small amount of oils because i just want to do the tires at the bottom of the robot the wheels so i've got in here my oils and i've just popped in a little bit of predispersed activated charcoal this is my live solution and sodium lactate going in I'm going to use today is Galaxy of Stars. Now you've probably seen me using this in the past and it is a lovely fragrance. It comes from, well it used to come from Sensory Perfection in the UK but now Grace Fruit sell it. So let's just add our little bit in. And I am going to give this a little bit of a blend because I do actually want this to start setting up a little bit. that's still quite loose I'm going to leave that to get just a little bit thicker because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into the bottom of my mold but I want the black just on each side of the mold I don't really want it in the middle and I don't mind if some some ends up there because I'm going to scrape the wheels of our little robot out and I didn't want to fill the whole base and then scrape a load of soap out I'm just trying to do a small amount so I'm just going to let that set a bit so it's not just going to flow completely all around the mold Our battery is a pretty good consistency now. Can you see there, it's sort of, it, it's not too thick that it's gonna leave air pockets, but it's hopefully getting to the stage where it's gonna sort of stay where I want it to. Now, it's not gonna go and stay there immediately, but with a little bit of playing around, we'll get it into the right places. So what I'm doing is just pouring into the bottom corners of this mold because I want to create the wheels in the bottom corners. Now the easiest way to do this would be to just do a complete layer along the bottom and then scrape the centre out but I just don't want to waste the soap with the scraping out so I'm just going to sort of try and do it without wasting too much soap so just trying to do it with sort of the amount of soap that I actually need. Okay, it's still moving around a little bit in the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do is just wait a little while and that will gradually start to hold its shape and I'll be able to shape it into the wheels that I want. Now this soap is starting to hold its shape a little. So I'm just gonna go through and scrape. And again, I, 
this is a very simplistic scraper. I didn't need to make a proper scraper. You could easily do something like this and just cut it out of some cardboard. It's not fancy or complicated at all. So I'm just literally going to go in and use this to start getting the right shape for my wheels. Now I'm going to need to do a few scrapes of this because I didn't go all the way across the bottom. So I'm going to have soap sort of in all sorts of wrong places as it were. So it'll take me a little while just to get it sort of all moved into where I actually want it. Okay, so let's get our little robot in there. And my battery's about to die, so I might have to just pour this and then change the battery and come back. It's flashing red at me, so I might lose you, but I'm just going to literally tip that in the gap. So that layer's now pretty well set up and what I've done is I've mixed up some light grey soap here. Now my soap dough for my little sort of switches and things are in antique silver from Mica Mama. So what I've done is I've taken the same mica and I've just used it at a lower rate than I used for my soap dough and that's given me a lighter grey there. So hopefully we'll be able to see those embeds. So what I'm going to do is I just want to put a very thin layer down first and then sit the embeds on that and then top that off. Now the batter is still very fluid and it's likely that these embeds are going to sink but it's only a very thin layer anyway and I'm okay if they sink slightly to the bottom of this layer. What I want to make sure is that I can get the rest of the batter in and keep a level top on this. So that's my most important factor that I want. Okay, so I'm hoping that's going to be nice and flat in there. Let's put that to the side and let that set up. Oh, just noticed a little blob on the side there. Let's clean that off. Okay. This next layer is going to be a little bit trickier because I want it to stay sort of reasonably fluid but I need to get some fairly big embeds in without them just sinking to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is make up my soap that I need. Now this is just soap with some TD in it just so it's white. Okay and then what I'm going to do is give it a mix that there I'm sure it isn't at emulsion or anything yet but what I want to do is as we've been saying all along I want each layer of my robot to be straight like it would be with the metal that's made so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a little bit of this white in a separate pot with it just sort of mixed as it were just so I can see if I can get that top nice and level. So again, it's just a little bit of it poured off there. And then what I'm going to do with the rest of this is I'm going to bring this to an emulsion. I am going to add fragrance oil into this whole lot, this bit here. So let's get my fragrance. 
Now for this section I need 15 grams of fragrance oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about 12 grams, well exactly 12 grams, in there and that leaves me three grams for this other bit that I've put off. Now that's not, I haven't worked that out exactly but I've sort of eyeballed it as it were and that's going to be fine in this area. Okay so now what my plan is, is again, <laughs> because I've got all these embeds to go in I want the batter to be sort of fluid but be able to hold the embeds and the problem is, is I've got some embeds right at the top of this white section that I don't want to sink down so my plan I'm going to take about half of this with this half is I'm going to pop it in the microwave and make it hotter than the other bit. I'm not going to make it really hot but I'm just you're going to use the heat to accelerate this portion of the soap more than the other portion. Now both of them have got fragrance oil in them so they will be starting to move a little bit. So just measuring this portion, I'm at 107 Fahrenheit and this portion is at 80. So I've got a bit of a difference there, which is good. So this hopefully should set up and start to hold these embeds in place and leave the other bit fluid for me to pour. So the first thing I want is to put in my arms. This is still pretty fluid. I know what I'm going to do is just put a little bit in here. This will probably all just pour out again, but I'm just trying to fill in that hole a little bit. I'm going to put a base layer in. And then my one arm in. There. So I want the arms as close to the sides as possible and ideally without them tipping over. Okay. They're in okay, so I now need to start bringing in some of this other batter. Okay, so remember, this has got the fragrance oil in it, but I didn't give it the extra heat in the microwave. So it is thickening up a little bit. It's not a fast moving fragrance by any means, but it is thickening up a little, hopefully more than that stuff that I've got at the side with no fragrance in it. And then the rest of that I just want to get me a nice fluid top. Okay, so that was just me sort of using the properties of heat on your soap, blending and fragrance sauce just to, you know, get the effect that I wanted to hopefully get those embeds in be able to get a nice level surface and not have those embeds sink. We hope. They didn't look like they were about to sink or anything, so I think I'm going to be okay.
down the next day and I've got my little robot on our cutter so let's get it cut shall we okay let's, let's hope those embeds stayed in place and hope, hoping that they did let's have a look at what we've got <laughs> hey I'm really pleased with that oh isn't he cute I do like him I presume it's him, our, robot, our robots boys. They do seem to be boys, don't they? But there we go. Oh, he's really cute. I do like him. They're all going to be, well, I hope they're all going to be pretty well the same. That'd be a weird situation, wouldn't it? If something odd went on in the middle. But we'll just check if a couple more. Actually, let's have a look back at that one. Can you see? Oh, look. There's a little error let's call it in here can you see where I had this lovely and straight and look I obviously took this little arm and and I've just just pushed it a little too much into the soap there's just one little area where that's happened so not as perfectly straight line there as I would have hoped but other than that slightly wonky line <laughs> I'm really happy with it I like my little robot. He's very cute. <laughs> and those arms went in nice and straight. And also as well, I like the way they've got lined up with these little lights and buttons. And I'm pleased that I haven't actually got any holes underneath the arms where I filled that in before I dropped it in. So yeah, so just slightly show you I need to watch that if I do this soap again just with those little bits of the grey there just need to watch that a bit let's just finish off with a couple of photos of the soap I hope you enjoyed this video and you like the soap thanks so much for spending some time watching my videos if you'd like to see what I'm making in the future why don't you subscribe to the channel and if you did enjoy the video why not give me a thumbs up thanks for watching everyone happy soaping